And this is the <clears throat> yom yom for today of the previous Lubavitcher Rebbe, saying a very short one, but in a way it's very deep, and we'll see. My father said that you should not recite the morning blessings until you rinse your mouth out in the morning. Rinsing your mouth, brushing your teeth. Rinsing your mouth out in the morning. Except fast days. Fast days, you're not supposed to rinse out your mouth. Okay, the reason for this is that you're a person when he sleeps, so sometimes there's an unpleasant smell in a person's mouth. <clears throat> and you, when you make a blessing, your mouth is supposed to be empty. You're not supposed to make a blessing with food in your mouth or anything in your mouth. A blessing has to be wholehearted. And if there's an unpleasant smell in your mouth, so it's a sign that you're not really preparing yourself. You're not honoring God, so to speak. And, of course, a person can always say, what about God is infinite? God, what does he care about this? But the answer is no, God really does care. He cares very much. And it's a very important thing. I know that there's even cases where, <clears throat> you know, a couple, husbands and wives, are almost on the point of divorce because one of them doesn't brush his teeth in the morning. There's a bad smell in the mouth. And because of that, as it's difficult for them to talk, and they don't want to talk. They don't want to tell the other person, you know, you have a terrible smell in your mouth. <clears throat> and so they don't. So eventually things get further and further from one another, and neither can understand why the other one is distancing themselves when it comes to words. And it's just a very simple thing, just rinsing your mouth. And it's a very simple thing, you know, just to be pleasant. So you're supposed to make as many preparations as you can before you make a blessing, that the blessing should be in an honorable way. That's why it says when you pray, you go to the synagogue to pray, you should be dressed in an honorable way. That's why a lot of the Hasidim, Chabad also, you put on a coat before you daven. A coat and a hat. <clears throat> so a short thing, a small thing, but it has big implications. Now let's have a story. <clears throat> 